I'm going to show you a very easy way to transport a picture of yourself or your students to anywhere in the world. And doing all this with a free program called Canva. Now first off, if you're not already a member of the Canva for Education, please make sure you apply for that. It's free. You get all the perks for Canva. It is absolutely incredible. So go to this link down here at the bottom. If you are not already a Canva for Education user, you can't miss this. It's free. You've got to do it. So, all right. So the first step you want to do is you go to canva.com and up here in the top right, you'll see create a design. Go ahead and click on that button. This is where you're going to choose the size of your canvas. Now, I generally just choose the education presentation because it's like a widescreen image and it works really well for everything. So I generally just pick this education presentation. You can also do a custom size if you have one already. So if you already kind of know the size you want to use, go ahead and use custom size. But by default, I usually just go to education presentation. Go ahead and click on that. And what you'll have is a blank canvas right here. I'm going to go ahead and put a background image in here, and I'm going to travel myself to the moon. So I'm going to go over to this left-hand side over here to where it says photos. Now, I don't have my own picture of the moon, so I'm going to check out all of Canva's free images you can use. So I can click right on that photos image, and right up here in the search button, I'm just going to type in moon. And it's going to bring up all of the free pictures from Canva. When these are all copyright free, you can go ahead and use them. This is awesome. So I'm going to choose this picture. I'm just going to click on it once. It's going to appear onto my canvas here on the right. And I can just drag this over and make it bigger. So it takes up the entire screen. So my canvas is now covered with this picture of the moon. Now the cool thing about this, you might have noticed, you can go outside the canvas and it doesn't mess anything up, as you can see over on the right hand side. So it doesn't really matter as long as you've got your canvas completely covered. I'll just drag this up just a touch. So we're totally covered, got my background. If you had your own image, you could have just gone to the uploads button and then uploaded your media. So, but right now I just decided to do this. So I wanna put up my, my picture of myself on there. So I already have a picture on my device. Make sure you already have something you can use. You can go ahead and use your camera and take a picture if you want or whatever, if you have something already um, downloaded to your device. So I'm going to go to the Uploads button now on this left-hand side. And I'm going to search my device for images. So I'm going to click on the Upload Media, click the Upload button. It'll bring up my browser on my computer to find images. So I'm just going to scan through here and find this picture of me. Now I've uploaded this a few times. That's why mine's showing up multiple times. I've been doing a, a demo for this. but. So I find the picture I want to use and I just have to click on it one time and it'll dump it into my picture. I can resize that, make myself a little bit smaller, bring myself to the bottom so it looks like I'm going to take a selfie with the camera. So I'm going to pop that right down here to the bottom. So as you can see right now, I have my image background still on there and I want to remove that. So if I click on the image and you can see it's selected, it's got the little dots around the edges. And I go up here to where it says Edit Image. When I click on that, I'm going to have an option on the left-hand side. It says Background Remover. Whatever image is selected in your canvas, when you click Background Remover, that's where the magic happens. So watch what happens. There I am. It has stripped the, the background from that image. Now I can still resize this if I need to. I could do any kind of editing that I want. And then I'm all set. So this is the perfect picture. This is how I want to do this wonderful new transportation of myself across out to the moon. I can go up to the right hand side up here to the download button. Click that download. I can change the file type. I tend to always stick with PNG. I just click the download button. Now I've got my image that I can just click on the bottom and open, and then there is my image. So it's really, really easy to transport yourself or your students to anywhere to enhance your content.